A massive search and rescue operation was underway Thursday after a 12-story oceanfront building partially collapsed in southern Florida, with at least one person dead and dozens still unaccounted for. I uh, was in a deep sleep and I heard a incredible bang that I figured that it was a lightning storm. Barry Cohen and his wife are residents of the Champlain Tower South Condo in Surfside, Florida. It just kept on going for like 30 seconds. And my wife and I got whatever we could together and we went to leave our apartment. And we opened up the door from our apartment and there was a huge pile of rubble and dust and um, just havoc. He said they were rescued by a fireman who had a cherry picker and got them out of the building. Built in 1981, the Champlain Tower South had more than 130 units, about 80 of which were occupied. At approximately 1.30 this morning, responded to a reported building collapse. Assistant Fire Chief with the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, Ray J. Dalla, said that rescuers were moving in heavy equipment and working to support the remaining structure of the building. 35 were pulled out from the structure and part of the uh, collapse, but not from the rubble, and two were pulled from the rubble. Officials said it was unclear how many people were still missing. Surfside Mayor Charles Burkett said the building, quote, literally pancaked, adding that construction work was being done on the roof, but it was unclear whether the project involved any heavy gear. This is from the 80s. There's no reason for this building to go down like that unless someone literally pulls out the supports from underneath or they get washed out or there's a sinkhole or, or something like that because it just went down. That is, uh, it is heartbreaking because it doesn't mean to me that we're going to be successful, as successful as we would want to be to find people alive.